And turning now to some breaking news, a scene in Woonsocket tonight after a suspect fled a crash there while wanted for an alleged robbery in Massachusetts, not far from the state line. Now, according to Woonsocket's police chief, the crash happened on Rathbun Street following a robbery just slightly north of Woonsocket in Bellingham. Witnesses tell us they saw several police cars and about three or four canines searching the area. I hope they caught him and got him off the street because he could have hurt himself and others. Right now, there's no word on if a suspect is in custody, though according to our crew on the scene, the scene has cleared. We have several calls in with police. We'll keep you updated both on air and online as we learn more. Tonight, a man remains in critical condition after a shooting last night in Fall River. 12 News reporter Lauren Brill joining us in Fall River tonight with the latest information from police. Well, officials are still looking for the person responsible. Now, Saturday afternoon, we've seen police driving around this neighborhood as the investigation continues. A man fighting for his life after he was shot in Fall River Friday night. Scott Collins lives in this neighborhood, telling me he heard multiple gunshots. It jumped me out of bed and I'm not one to startle. This was the scene in the area of Lonsdale and Blackstone Street. According to police, they arrived around 740 and found the 34 year old male with multiple gunshot wounds. He was transported to the hospital. The neighborhood blocked off with crime scene tape for hours Friday night and a heavy police presence. Fall River State police and a police canine could be seen searching the street. At least 19 evidence markers scattered across the ground. Almost 24 hours later, police still in the area. Neighbors tell us they've seen officers here throughout the day. The mobile crime unit parked on Blackstone Street throughout the evening. Some calling the situation scary. Collins has lived here for five years and something like this makes him worry for his safety. Oh, it's going right downhill. Yeah, like it wasn't bad before. I don't want to live here. Again, this is an active and ongoing investigation. We'll continue to keep you updated both on air and on WPRI.com. In Fall River, Lauren Brill, 12 News.